Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. An amateur diver has accidentally made an unprecedented discovery by unearthing a huge 7,000 year old burial site off the coast of Florida. The fossil hunter said he was looking for shark teeth when he came across an ancient jawbone while swimming near Manasota Key back in 2016. Radiocarbon dating methods have shown that this bone comes from the early archaic period. A single tooth in the bone showed excessive wear, a clear sign that the bone was ancient as our ancestors survived on rougher types of food compared to modern humans. Millennia ago, the climate was cooler and archaeologists believe that the site, which used to be a freshwater peat bottom pond, was used by ancient people to bury their loved ones before rising seas swept it into the ocean. This specific pond was totally submerged, but the peat, which slows the process of decay, remained intact, preserving the ancient human remains. Since the discovery, excavations at the site have unearthed bones from six prehistoric humans, sharpened wooden stakes and fragments of textiles. The specific burial site is 275 metres from shore. 6.5 metres below sea level and measures 3,000 square metres and is of particular importance because the only other known examples of submerged offshore burial sites are located in Denmark and Israel. Being 3,000 square metres in size, the burial site is vast and research is still in its very early stages. Dr Timothy Parsons, Florida's historic preservation officer, said the site was a revelation for the world of archaeology. He continued, The people buried at this site are the ancestors of America's living indigenous people. Sites like this have cultural and religious significance in the present day. But are these people really the ancestors of the Native Americans? Evidence says it is in fact very unlikely. For a start, the new site isn't totally unique. On the other side of the Florida Peninsula is the Windover Farm archaeological site. Discovered in 1982, the site comprises an ancient pond where skeletal remains of 168 individuals from a similarly distant era were found buried, preserved in peat, at the bottom of a pond. Both sites have numerous similarities and were clearly used by the same culture, both interring their dead by lowering them into an inland freshwater pond. At Windover Farm, the remains were also dated to between 7,000 and 8,000 years ago. Between 1984 and 1986, three archaeological digs took place, and archaeologists found that the bodies were all placed in the fetal position, lying on their left sides with their heads pointed west but looking north. The bodies were wrapped in a woven fabric with a complex weaving technique and were held down in the graves by sharpened stakes, almost identical to the ones discovered near Manasota Key. The burials were amazingly well preserved, and more than 90 schools contained intact brain matter, whilst the stomach contents of many of the burials remained intact, including wild grapes, elderberries and prickly pear fruit. Like the new site off the coast of Florida, teeth were found to be in a worn down condition, indicating sand in the food, but interestingly, they had very few cavities. The Windover site was used as a burial ground for more than a thousand years, and one family in particular used it for more than a hundred years. There were children and adults up to at least 70 years old buried there. The average height of the adult males was 5 foot 9 inches, and many adults showed signs of osteoporosis and osteoarthritis. Disease and malnutrition seems to have been a common factor, whilst one body had a spear embedded in the pelvis, and others had skull fractures. Objects found with the bodies include 86 pieces of fabric used as clothing, bags, matting, blankets and ponchos. Children were found buried with primitive toys in their arms. There were spears and projectile points as well as animal bones and shells indicating the people ate white-tailed deer, raccoon, opossum, birds, fish and shellfish. Amazingly, the peat-filled site still contained 7,000-year-old leaves that were still green and insects that were so fresh, it looked like they had only just died. Many do not know, but Florida has a rich ancient history, with numerous sites of interest. There are impressive ancient monumental structures, such as Hawes Island Mounds, which were built along the west coast of Florida around 5,000 years ago. This site is believed to be the location of the oldest burial mound in North America. 
Other Florida mound sites include the Tomoka Mounds, the Guana River Shell Ring and the Joseph Reed Shell Ring. Some researchers believe that each mound and ring represents a star in the night sky and when viewed together the mounds mirror the heavens. But the widespread Native American mound culture may have had completely different genetic and cultural origins to the early water burial culture discussed in this video. Experts refer to the people in the two 7,000 year old water burial sites as Native American, but nobody really knows a great deal about these early people. In fact, these ancient sites are an historical anomaly. The brain material found at Windover Farm allowed scientists to extract DNA, and apparently their mitochondrial DNA lineages are absent in all other prehistoric and contemporary Native American populations. Although rarely discussed, the tests show that the people buried at Windover were actually and astoundingly of European origin. I cannot seem to verify this, but an old TV documentary subsequently uploaded to YouTube shows Dr. Joseph Lorenz of the Coriel Institute for Medical Research, the man who conducted the tests, confirming this claim. Further evidence for ancient Europeans in North America was presented in 2012, when it was announced that several dozen European-style stone tools dating back to between 19,000 and 26,000 years were discovered at six locations along the US East Coast. Furthermore, chemical analysis carried out on a European-style stone knife found in Virginia in 1971 revealed that it was made from flint originating from France. Professor Dennis Stanford and Professor Bruce Bradley proposed that Stone Age people from Western Europe migrated to North America at the height of the last ice age by travelling along the edge of the frozen northern part of the Atlantic. As the age, finds and style of the burials at both the Windover site and the new underwater site of the coast of Manasota Key are so similar, they must have been created by the same people. The same culture who are of European origin and whose ancestors migrated to North America many thousands of years ago during the last ice age. Predating the influx of the Siberians who are believed by many to be the ancestors of the Native Americans by many thousands of years. Thank you for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like this video and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.